Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and today I want to talk about Facebook ad split testing. You might have heard a lot about this. I know that we've been split testing ads for years when it comes to like creating an ad and split testing like different audiences, um, split testing, you know, different types of budgets, like do we do clicks to websites? Uh, or do we pay for clicks? Do we pay for impressions? Um, so there's a lot of different options there that you can do with your ads to split test them. And in the past, we would have to go in and create a, an, an ad set individually. Well, now you don't have to do that. So I'm gonna show you the new Facebook um, ad split testing process. Now, not every ad account, as of making this video, has this. So I'm actually in our daughter's business account because she actually has it right now. Um, my personal account, I don't have it right now. We have another account that we run another business in. They don't have it. And, um, you know, there's the features being rolled out now as we speak. So be looking for it because it makes split testing so much easier. So let me just show you kind of the end result and then I'm going to walk you through the process. But like here is one where I've called it split testing. So what I'm doing is I'm driving traffic to our Shopify store. So if I click on this campaign, you can see that there are three different ad sets here. Now the differences here is um, I'm testing, I believe one of these is where I'm testing let's do impressions. The other one is, is I'm uh, paying for link clicks. And um, the other one here is I think I'm basically paying for, I'm optimizing for the actual conversion, the, the, the view the page conversion. So there's some different um, things that we can split test here. So let me just show you how we do this. But if I were to actually click on one of these ad sets, you would see the actual ad in there. So this is it right here. Um, let me click on it right here. There we go. So this objective is website conversions is what I'm doing. I was actually on, on this, all of these, but these are some different conversions that I'm testing. So let me just show you here. So if we go in here and create the ad, um, you'll find the option right here under increase conversions on your website. They also have it on get installs for your app, but um, most of you are going to probably be using this unless you're in the app industry. So we, we're going to go ahead and click on there. And as you can see, you'll have this new option here. Now, if you want to learn more about it uh, beyond this video, you can hover over this little I and then just go down here and click learn more. And it's going to open up the business section and talk about you know what split testing is if you're not really sure you know what I'm talking about here um, where can you create it so if we click here you can see um, you can create split testing either ads manager or power editor um, it may not be available to all business objectives which means uh, basically you can't do them in like if you're creating an ad for your your page to get more likes right now you can't do that um, and then it talks about you know who can create it what objectives, here are the three objectives. So collect leads for your business, get installs of your app, like I mentioned before, and increase conversions, which is where I am right now. And then how many ad sets can I split test? So you've got some options here. Uh, currently advertisers can run split tests using two ad sets slash A dash B or three ad sets, A, B, C in a single campaign, which is what you just saw a second ago. Um, what variables can you test? Now, I don't have the placements yet, so this is gonna be great when this comes out, and all that simply means is you'll be able to create three different ad sets. One will be, let's say, in the newsfeed, one will be in Instagram, uh, you know, one will be in the um, right-hand side of Facebook. So you'll be able to, to um, create split test ads that'll be different places and you'll have Facebook split test those against each other. Um, delivery optimization, that's another one. Um, that's the one I actually created. I'm gonna show you that in a second. And then target audience. So what you'll do is, and it'll make more sense when I create this ad, um, you'll be able to specify, okay, I want this ad set to target all the people that like, say, Tony Robbins. This ad set to target all the people that like, um, you know, Tim Ferriss. So you'll be able to do that within the entire campaign. So I wanna encourage you, you know, to definitely go through this because obviously this training video is not going to explain everything. That's what, kind of what our, my course does. Um, but this will give you a better overview. But I just want to walk you through the process. So what you're going to do is if you have it, you'll, cl you'll click on this box right here, name your campaign, click continue. And then you'll see right here, you, you obviously have to have a pixel installed on your website in order for this to work because I chose the conversion, you know, get more conversions to your website ad. So I would go in here and let's just say, you know, my objective would be is I'm trying to get more people to view my content. So I would just go ahead and click on that. And then through here, here are what do you want to test. 
So right now, like I said, I don't have placements, but I do have the delivery optimization, which I think is a really great place to start because I think a lot of people get confused on what type of delivery optimization do they want to choose? Do they want to pick get more clicks? Do they want to pick, you know, pay for impressions? So there's a lot of different delivery optimization. So this is really great to choose. Now, if you choose to split test your audience, you have to create saved audiences. And you can do that beforehand uh, is what you're going to have to do if you're going to choose this because they don't let you actually within this process say, okay, I want to target with this ad all the people that like Tony Robbins. You have to actually have a saved audience. So um, you'll have to create that first before choosing that. So I'm going to go ahead and do delivery optimization. And then you're going to see right here, ad set number one. Let's just say I want to choose um, impressions for this ad set. Then for this ad set, I want to choose link clicks. And then if I want to add another one, I just click test another one. And then this one I want to do, uh, let's go ahead and do conversions. So you can see I've got three different ad sets that are going to go out. One is going to be to run this ad to basically optimize for the impressions. Then the next one's going to be optimize the ad for link clicks. And then this one's going to be for my conversion, which was to get more page views. So those are the three different ones that I've chosen. And then down here, this is, remember when I said earlier that you, you know, you have to choose a saved audience. This is something you would have to create beforehand if you're doing the audience split testing, but I'm not doing that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to choose the location. So I've chosen the United States. Uh, my course goes over all of this. Most of you guys watching this probably already know how to create an ad and how to do the audience. So you would create your audience. You know, who do you want to target this ad to? And once you create that audience, you can come down here and you can, you know, edit the placements if you want. You know, where do you want this ad to show up? Maybe you don't want it to show up on Instagram, so you just uncheck that box. Um, you know, maybe you don't want it to show up on the right-hand column, so you uncheck that box. But that's the placements. Um, but here's where the actual area is that you want to make sure that you're doing correctly for the split testing. So um, you're going to have to put in a lifetime budget here. You cannot put in a daily budget in this section here. That may change, but for right now you've got to have that lifetime budget and they tell you a recommended minimum budget. So um, I believe you have to run this for at least uh, at the most 14 days. You can't go beyond 14 days. So if your budget, like if I put in um, 1200 what they're asking me to do I'll just put in 1300 1300 um, you can decide do I want to do a weighted split or an even split so even splits gonna take that budget four hundred and thirty three dollars which is you know if you do, that's times three would total that across the three ad sets or if you want to do a weighted you could certainly do that so you could say okay I want to do sixty percent on this first ad set and then these two will get adjusted here. You can't change these two. So the first ad set, so I could say 90%, and this changes these two um, budgets down here. So I always just kind of choose the even split to see how it's working first. And then here's your schedule. And again, if, if you choose the wrong length of time, Facebook will give you a warning. But that's basically where you're going to um, set up the area to do this split test across the three ad sets. So this is for the, if we go back up here, this is for the delivery optimization. Now, if I chose um, audience, well, let me just finish here. So if you go down here, basically you're going to continue the ad and you're going to go into the format, add your page links, your images and everything. Um, again, this video isn't a tutorial and all that because I have a course for that, but this is just kind of showing you this new feature. So the other option is audience. So if we chose audience, we would come in here and again, you have to have those saved. Um, so we would come in here and it says select a saved audience. Um, I only have one audience saved right now, so that would be veganism. Um, I could come in here and if I had another one, I would choose that here. Same thing, you would go in there and you would fix the budget on these particular audiences. Now, if you want to save an audience, just go create a regular ad. Don't go and create one of these. And once you create that audience, you'll be able to click, hey, save this audience. Um, it's really simple to do. Or you can actually go into to audiences here so I'm just gonna click OK we don't need that ad and you can create an audience right here so let's just say I want to you know create a custom audience or you know 
come in here and I could say, all right, let me, you know, create a, a customer file. Maybe you're uploading email addresses, um, website traffic. You know, this may be, you know, an audience that you're going to create that's visiting specific pages that you have, websites. It will create some custom audiences. So you'll have that. But in order to really create a saved audience, um, the process that I go through is I just go through and um, act like I'm just creating an ad, which now it's taking me back to this. We want to start a new ad. I would basically just come in here and say, you know, promote my page, continue. Um, and I would come in here and I could create an audience right here. And then you would have the option to be able to actually save that audience. Um, so there's a lot of different options there that you can do. There's, there's different areas of the Facebook ad manager where you can actually save those audiences. But this is a really, um, a really cool different feature that's available that you know all of you definitely should be using um, to split test your ads it makes it a lot easier um, and then that way you know that you know for example on this one once this starts running it's scheduled to go out on the 19th which is today but this way you're gonna know okay you know which one is getting me the better results and then once you know that you can actually pause these ads you know say this one wasn't performing as well the one that I said all right create this ad set um, and I want to bid for impressions maybe that one wasn't getting us sales at our Shopify store so I could just pause that and maybe the one that was getting us sales at our Shopify store was actually the one that was created um, to get more conversions which our objective was more page views um, so you could decide that's what's great about these split testing and you'll be able to do that again with the the audiences and then also with the placement so be looking for that like I said placements isn't available for me yet it is rolling out but once you have it I would say that would be the very first one that you would want to start split, split testing so this is a really cool feature just wanted to share this with you today hope you got a lot of value in this be sure to share it with your friends or your business uh, partners and uh, we'll see you in the next training video bye bye